friends. Here we are at Stony Creek Metro Park at the Nature Center to look at the beautiful fall. And this is my friend tree. As a matter of fact, this is my friend tulip tree. Tulip tree here is turning some beautiful colors. You can see all of its green leaves are turning this beautiful yellow color. Now, most of them are still on the tree, but some of them have fallen. And here is one of the leaves that has fallen on the ground. I can tell this is a tulip tree because the leaf is shaped like this. You can see over here has kind of two arms looking that way. And then it has like two little points up here. So that's how we know this is a tulip tree. So we'll put this leaf back on the ground so someone can rake it into a big pile and jump in it because that's what we do in the fall, right? Yay for fall! Let's go see what else we can find in the fall. Here's some more signs of fall. Wow, look at this beautiful red oak. I'm pretty sure it's a red oak. The reason I know it's a red oak is because of the shape of the leaves. You can also see that a lot of the leaves on the red oak are starting to turn, well, kind of red. Now, a red oak might also make some acorns in the fall. I don't really see any on the ground here, but it could have some acorns starting to fall soon too. Let's take a look at one of the leaves from a red oak tree. Just a minute, let me find one. You're gonna have to give me a minute. This is kind of fun. Oh, look at that. Leaves of three. Huh. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Okay, so here is an oak leaf. Now you see it looks very different from the tulip tree leaf. It is kind of pointy at the edges, very pointy, and it's kind of got more arms to it, I guess you might say, than the tulip tree did. It's um, skinnier in the middle part, and if you look very up close, if you got out your hand lens. You can see the veins on this leaf that fed the leaf water and nutrients all summer long. But of course now it has turned brown and it's fallen off the tree. So we'll let this one go and go look for more signs of fall. Oh boy, this is so much fun. Don't you just love fall? All those crispy, crunchy sounds. Now we're here under a beautiful maple tree. And there's a lot of maple trees right around here that are turning all sorts of yellows and reds. Absolutely beautiful. Now, the shape of the maple leaf is much different from the other two. Almost like the tulip tree leaf, but it's pointy on the top. Okay, it has five little points like that sticking out. And it is wider than the oak tree was. Remember how the oak tree was kind of skinny in the middle? The maple tree is much wider in the middle. It also has veins that we can see going through the leaf and that's where the water and the nutrients would have gone to all the parts of the leaf during the summertime. But now all the leaves are turning these beautiful yellow color and falling off the tree and making some nice crunches under my feet. Oh boy, this is fun. This big tree has lost pretty much all of its leaves. There's a few up at the top. And I'm not exactly sure what kind of tree this is. It's kind of hard to tell with all the leaves off. But I do want to show you I found this one on the ground. Now this is called a compound leaf. It has little leaflets on it. Now most of them have fallen off, so we see some that are missing. Each of these is a leaflet, okay? But the whole thing is a leaf, this whole thing. 
this is not a leaf, it's a leaflet. So each piece right here is a leaflet on this whole leaf. And it's a compound leaf because it's got many leaflets on it. But this one thing is a leaf. Pretty cool, huh? And this is my friend, the catalpa tree. Gosh, I love catalpa trees. They're so beautiful. Their leaves are really large and kind of almost heart-shaped. And in the fall, you can see these almost looks like green beans hanging from them. And those are the seed pods. The seeds grow inside of those. And in the fall, they fall off and seeds pop out. And so don't eat one. They're not a real green bean. <laughs> it's a catalpa. And they make more catalpa trees for next spring. So beautiful, turning a beautiful yellow. I love the catalpa tree. This is another sign of fall. So these tall plants are pretty much dying now. The frost is getting them, so they're dying. But the puffy little things on the tops are their seeds, and those will be carried away in the wind to make new plants next spring. Leaves don't just fall on the ground, friends. They also fall in the river. So you can see all kinds of leaves just kind of floating lazily down the river. And some of them get stuck behind this branch or tree, wherever they find a spot in the river where <laughs> there's something sticking out. So sometimes they get stuck, but sometimes they just kind of float lazily along in the river and have a nice ride. We've seen this view before, friends, because we've walked this way before, but it didn't look like this before. It was all green the last time we were here, but now the leaves are starting to turn colors. Some trees have lost their leaves entirely. It is definitely a fall scene. Even the plants down by the river are not as green as they used to be. A lot of them have died in the frost. And so they're looking a little brown or at least yellow. So it's a fall scene we're looking at now, not a summery one. Now these are oaks as well, but for one thing, there's babies, they're small. For another thing, they are a different kind. These are white oaks, and so they are broader here. That means wider. But they still have these pointy things. They just don't come to such sharp points at the ends. They just kind of have lobes here. And so it's another kind of oak tree. Definitely doesn't look like a maple leaf, but doesn't look like our friend the red oak. I believe it's a white oak. It is such a nice small little tree, isn't it? There are others growing around it, that are bigger. Oh, and there's even a red oak, I believe, right above it. So lots of friends to keep them company. The last time we were here for our summer walk, it was all flowers. We saw flowers of every color here. And now the flowers are gone. And the grass has gotten brown. We can see seed pods and kind of fluffy ends of grasses. And things are a lot quieter than they were in the summer. The bees and the pollinators are not doing their work right now. It's a lot chillier and a lot quieter. My friends, this fluffy stuff right here not that long ago was a milkweed plant. Now milkweed is the stuff that monarch caterpillars would be eating and then turn into monarch butterflies. But in this time of year, the monarch would be gone and the milkweed has died, but it has left these big seed pods. These are seed pods and they're breaking open and all this fluff is for a seed. 
right in the middle, there's a brown thing. And the brown thing is the seed that will grow next year's milkweed. And so the seed gets carried away with that fluff on the wind to a new place where it will plant more milkweed plants somewhere else. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the beautiful fall day. My friends, I've been looking for one of these. This is a sassafras tree. And the cool thing about sassafras trees, other than the fact that, you know, they're a beautiful color in the fall, is that their leaves are different shapes on the same tree. So I've got one leaf right here. You can see three fingers, right? So it's got one, two, three. This branch has leaves with two fingers. It almost looks like a mitten, doesn't it? One up here and one sticking out there. And then there's some way up there that are just one leaf. It looks like just one finger or just looks like a normal leaf. So a sassafras tree is a really cool tree. Three different leaves on one tree. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? And the last time we came here, we heard frogs singing. And we watched all the creatures that lived in the pond. But now the pond is dried up because it's fall. And by this time, the pond will dry up. But don't worry, when the snows come and the spring rains come, it'll fill all the way back up. And next year we'll be able to enjoy more frog singing. Look at this tree. You might look at this tree and think, okay, what's going on here? It hasn't turned any colors. It's still green. What on earth is the problem with this tree? Well, that's because this tree is a different kind of tree. Some people would call this a pine tree, and that's correct. It is a white pine tree, actually, even though it's not actually white. It's just called a white pine tree. It has very fluffy needles. Very fluffy. They don't poke you at all. Very fluffy. It also happens to be Michigan's state tree, but it is a coniferous tree. Coniferous. A coniferous tree would be a tree that makes pine cones. So pine cones would fall out of this tree, and that's where the seeds are. Um, we'd also call it an evergreen tree because it's green all year round. So this is a coniferous or evergreen tree. The other trees, the ones that are losing their leaves and the leaves are falling all over, those are called deciduous trees. Deciduous trees are the ones that are making it so beautiful right now and turning all the beautiful colors. Those are deciduous. This is coniferous. On the ground, you can see some of the pine needles have fallen. So we have pine needles right here falling off the tree. Some of them do fall, of course. And we also have deciduous leaves on the ground as well from the trees that are around here. So we do have some of the pine needles fall. These are the leaves of the coniferous tree. And we also have the deciduous leaves. Oh, wow. Look at that one. My friends. This is like walking in a fall wonderland. Every tree is red and yellow. The path is red and yellow. You look up, 
You look down, you look to the side, and it's like a fall wonderland. This is absolutely beautiful. And the smell, well, it smells like fall. This is an unbelievably beautiful spot right here. As if fall just came to visit this spot. 